So it's been an interesting morning. We've been talking a lot about various deals out there from the Verizon deal to the TikTok deal slash arrangement. For somebody who, you know, can tell us a lot more about it now, let's go to Lausanne, Switzerland, and Howard Yu, who is Lego Professor of Management and Innovation at IMD Business School. So the story is that Oracle edged out Microsoft in negotiating for the U.S. operations of China-owned TikTok, which is the subsidiary of ByteDance. But Professor Yu, explain to us exactly what kind of a quote-unquote deal this is. Well, it remained slightly unclear how that technical partnership is going to be with Oracle and TikTok. What has been clear right now is uh, Microsoft historically, or over the past few days, we're thinking about acquiring TikTok and make it safe for U.S. user, and possibly they need to open the algo or the software code and make it much more transparent going forward. And in the end, it's ByteDance, the owner of TikTok, said no to Microsoft. And in a way that the technical partnership is probably keeping uh, whatever algo behind will stay intact and trying to appease two governments at the same time. So, Professor, what was the political uh, overhang of this deal or the political influence of this deal from your perspective? I mean, this is a big, major development in the sense that for the first time, government are really adding on, acting on an ad hoc basis. So starting from the Trump administration, all of these are executive orders. There is no industry consultation. There is no independent inquiry, per se. And then, after all, the Chinese government, at the same time, were basically saying, you know, by dance, you cannot export any software code uh, in the name of you know, national security. Um, The ramification is the following, that businesses find it really, really difficult going forward to plan ahead, whether it's long-term R&D or product sales and marketing, given all of these becomes much more of an ad hoc basis. In your estimation, is Oracle the right kind of company to be doing this? (laughs) I mean, in the ideal world, this is kind of strange because if you think about Oracle, it's historically it's really a B2B company. They sell database services. It doesn't really have a large B2C market. As a result, the know-how that they have would be arguably much less than Microsoft, where it's running Xboxes or this game. And of course, the B2C market is huge. And sort of the technical ability around AI is also amazing too. However, if you're thinking about TikTok, probably one of the biggest worry is once it gone through the deal, potentially go through, would they completely lose their independence? From that angle, then Oracle potentially becomes much more attractive. They're smaller, their know-how around B2C market is much less, and quite frankly, they are not very strong in building algo. So from that angle, it's not too surprising that TikTok would actually prefer a weaker partner, in this case, Oracle. So do you think this deal, this arrangement, I guess is probably the better way to term it, do you think this will actually work? Will it go through and will it actually do what it's supposed to do, do you think? I mean, over the long run, um, it's probably simply a cosmetic touch. Um, I mean, both administration, whether it's Beijing and, and, and the U.S. government, is most wary, oh, using this as a excuse of threatening national security. So what the business executive right now is trying to come up with a makeshift solution to appease on both sides. But I think going forward, what really have highlight is organization can no longer pick side. Despite the geopolitics between China and U.S., if you're any multinational, particular here in Europe, when I'm talking to executives, they really cannot afford to pick side and ignore one market versus the other. Um, so that would cause tremendous turmoil in the business community as all eyes are watching how TikTok is trying to fend for itself. Yeah, it's really interesting. Can you put a value on the U.S. assets of TikTok, Professor? (laughs) Right. I mean, right now they're talking about $50 billion, right? It really comes down to depending on how the U.S. acquirer can really leverage both of the user base on what is remaining as you can back engineers and algo. So, you know, at first I thought Walmart and Microsoft bid is interesting because it potentially, TikTok can be a very interesting e-commerce platform 
to rejuvenate Walmart's e-commerce. So that's a direct synergy that you could put a tax price on, and $50 billion is kind of okay. Now for you know Oracle, then I'm not quite so, too certain what kind of price they would eventually agree upon. Um, because again, without the software algorithm being sold potentially, and if Oracle is simply a technical partner for distribution itself, then the payback becomes much less tenuous in a way. But maybe they are motivated by other factors as well. Uh, maybe they want to tell a new story to Wall Street, or who knows, maybe there's political motivation in stepping in and making sure the deal goes through. Um, but from a commercial aspect, uh, $50 billion uh, without some direct synergy on e-commerce, for instance, would sound a little crazy. So, Professor, just 30 seconds left. Get your thoughts on what some people are talking about as a technology cold war between China and the oh my U.S. God. and the West. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Internet is totally fractured these days. I think what business executives around the world we have to understand right now, we're stepping into a bipolar world, right? You have the U.S. system, the China system, the European zone as well. And in terms of the GDP size, all three are important. And yet they conform very different norms, very different mm-hmm. regulation. So the idea you can build one product and spread around the world and conquer the world is totally over. Going forward, decentralization is priority. Conforming to local regulation is second. And the third is the customer insight would be very different as the internet will continue to fracture. So I think this is one of the key dynamics that exactly must prepare themselves going forward. Howard Yu, thank you so much for joining us. Howard Yu is the Lego Professor of Management and Innovation at IMD Business School based uh, in Switzerland. And Vani, it just seems that uh, there is a growing uh, kind of cold war when it comes to technology out there. Well, I imagine it's uh, the type of thing that we'll see the veil drawn back upon within the next few months. I mean, we already know that Steve Mnuchin is going to come to some kind of a decision this week on this particular affair, the Oracle TikTok affair. And, you know, we just don't know enough details yet. Yeah, exactly right. Not sure the structure here.